Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. 25 projects coming out to you, five a week for five weeks, which is coming up to the end almost of week four. And this is today's project. It's a lovely card. I love to make layered cards and I adore this suite. This one is called, I've got it open on the wrong page. Um, it's called Let It Snow. And in this suite, you've got um, two bundles you can choose from. Well, you can have them all, you don't have to choose, but there are two bundles in there. The stamp set and the uh, punch, and then the tiny keeps or the mini Kirby keepsake is in here as well. Then you've got gorgeous paper, you've got embossing folder, uh, red glimmer, the red curly ribbon, I've used that earlier this week. Snowball accents puff paint at the point in time I'm filming, we still haven't had this available in Europe, but I have I have got a very big list now of everybody who'd like it. So I'm gonna order it once it's available, I'm gonna order it en masse for everybody and then post it out. And then, you know, it means that you don't have to pay shipping twice. And then the embellishment kit, and that's what I'm gonna be using today. Um, so, and I'm also going to be using the stamp set, which I forgot to get out. Snowman season, there it is. <clears throat> Okay, so this one was done with Coastal Cabana. I'm going with Real Red this time. So, to make a layered card, there is no science to it. You can do what you like. So I'm gonna cut my piece of cardstock in half and score it in half. Note I'm not giving you measurements, just the kind of the how to. Cut it in half and score it in half. And then I'm gonna use these stripes um, and actually I made an error on a on a project recently so it's already scored but I'm going to use this and I'm making my layer of um, paper half a centimetre shorter and narrower than the card base when it's folded. If you work in Imperial make yours a quarter of an inch shorter and narrower. So that's my first bit. Now what do I want to do from here? I want to get one of these gorgeous snowmen in here. Um, and I also want some of that backing paper. I want this snowman here because I think he's charming. Um, or do I take? Or do I take? No, I'm going to go with this one because actually he's the same as the one I put on there, which must mean I've got a sheet of this around somewhere. Oh well, I'm just going to hack into this one. Actually, I'm going to take that one. So I'm just eyeballing to cut him off. So he's three centimetres wide. And so like that. So I'm gonna make that eight centimetres long. So he's three by eight centimetres, which means that I need my outer layer of card to be half centimetre wider and longer. I'm gonna make that three and a half by eight and a half. So that's a layer for there. Very lovely. Now, as I said, I want to use some more of this paper, but I'm, I kind of think I'm going to go with a bit of a square. So, no, maybe a big rectangle. So how about that by that? That looks a good size to me. So again, I know that, that I've made that five by seven centimetres which means that I want to make this one five and a half. Or seven and a half. Okay. So those are my layers coming together. So I don't need my trimmer anymore. So scooch that out of the way. No need any of that. So I'm going to start putting these together. Now this paper is divine. It's got glitter going on like crazy and I love it and it's on I think four out of six of the patterns but you can I don't know if you can see there we go lovely frosty frosty cute snowman and if I get my layers all set up and ready then I can just bring it all together See, this one's all glittery too. Isn't that lovely? On all the snow, snow-capped trees. I'm not showing that, but <laughs> I wanted the stripes. 
because you know stripes gorgeous so I'm going to start layering it all up I think I will probably go for the same sort of layout as before but obviously you can see that's a much bigger bit there and much longer but it's kind of the same idea right let me get scrap whisk white and my snowman stamp set so I'm going to go with this one because this is the one you can punch out and a big block and then my memento And there is a punch that goes with it. And the punch actually will punch out hat, nose and arms. I'm going to be using the stickers that are in the embellishment pack. So there you go, everything popped out at the same time, but I don't need everything. Let's pop there. I'm going to stick these down and get them lined up. This, these kind of cards are brilliant for using up scraps. They really are good for that. Because I'm using stickers for his arms, I want him flat. What happened there? What happened there? That all went smudged. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Um, yeah, because I'm gonna be using stickers for his arms, um, if I popped him off the page, that wouldn't look right because they'd be flat and he would be raised up. I think maybe the ink, I've just re-inked it, wasn't dry. Um, yeah, so I don't want him raising his arms to be, you know, literally disjointed from his body. So, he's going flat onto here. Oops. And then in this gorgeous embellishment kit, you've got four different colours for the hat and hat mittens and scarf obviously I'm going to pull in real red and then you've got snow that you could add if you used your fine tip glow, glow fine tip glue um, glimmery I was going to say I wouldn't say that's washi tape but glimmery tape and let me pop a hat out and then all of these stickers for nose, for coal, for the tummy, um, and all of that. So uh, I want mini glue dots for this. There's enough thread on the back. Oops. Enough thread on the back that you can stick your glue dots to that and it will stay in place. Otherwise, use Tombow, but you have to hold it in place for ages. This does not want to stick. I'm going to be using Tombow. Ignore me completely when I said, there's plenty of space. So, that one on there, and then I'm going to get a block just to hold that in place for a minute. Well, I bring in the coal for down the snowman's buttons. Obviously, I know I'm just covering up buttons that are stamped, but it's all in the detail. One on there, and then I have a kid walking across my desk. Hello. Oh. There's a tail in my face as well. And that arm there. And that needs to be held. Get your foot off the embellishments. Oh, <laughs> there is literally a tail in my face. When that's completely dry, it's not gonna move. But I think that is a super cute card. I think it is. I think it's really cute. I love the snowman, love the punch, adorbs. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And Sorrel, again. I think it's the second time this week she's been in a video. Cheeky. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.